I couldn't help but overhear you miss your little pet snail, Walter. Gary. Right, Gary. Well, with this cosmic costume, you should be able to enter the portal he was sucked into. But watch out, honey. That snail of yours is in big, big trouble. <laughs> We must be going to some gentle land of sunshine and kindness. Don't give up, Gare Bear. I'm coming for you. Look at these creatures, Patrick. They're... Funny? No, <laughs> scary. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was going to be my second guess. No, this whole place is frightening. It's cold, it's moist, and it smells like the dumpster behind the chum bucket. Well, that sure sounds a lot like this puddle of ooze you're standing in. Ew! It must be the remains of the victims of the monster that came through here. We have to hurry and find Gary. <laughs> SpongeBob, just pretend that scary equals funny and play hide and seek with them. Great idea, and we'll win because they're not even seeking. Hmm, I wonder if we'll spot any. Spots from Spot. Calcium, with a faint trace of protein, 
and lots of love. That's not ooze, that's slime. Gary slime. That is a lot of slime for such a tiny snail. He must be so scared. We gotta find him. All we have to do is just follow the slime trail through the dark, scary, horrifying city. slime left by that monster. What disgusting creature could do that? business for the snail cup. If you want to enter the race, you need to pay the participation fee of five candy bars. There's only one way to get the amount of candy we need. Take it from babies? No, we go trick-or-treating. Uh, that works too, I guess. Thank you. 
I've been trying to find chocolate for three days. There's almost nothing left. Except for, well, I could tell you, but you have to promise to split the spoils. I'm all ears. Well, actually, I'm mostly cellulose, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, a weird and very heavy rock crashed behind my house. Right on my chocolate shed. Maybe you can move it. Here, let me open the gate for you. Lifeless eyes, black eyes, like a doll's eyes. I can't understand your accent. Trick or treat. Oh, why didn't you say so? Here, have a candy bar. A nice costume, by the way. Thanks, you. If he's really sweet, then the monster probably took him. It ruined everyone's Halloween by stealing our sweets. The last time it was seen, it crawled down the racing track. I think the track probably leads all the way to its lair. There it feasts on innocent candy and pets. Poor Gary. Patrick, we need to find more candy to get on that racing track. Here, have one of my candy bars for the participation fee. Your awesome costume deserves it. Thanks.
the boob. That awful slime left by that monster. What disgusting creature could do that? Excuse me, have you seen? I already told you. If you trick or treat. You know where I could find some candies? There's a weird fish living in a house above the city. You could try that. The pass is next to me, but the way up is dangerous. Some guy said he saw the monster, and it made a horrible hiss at him. Sweet Neptune, are you insane running around like this? Don't you know people have phobias? Sorry, I didn't know my costume was that scary. What are you afraid of? Boxes, man, boxes. You never know what'll be inside or where they'll take you. And then it's too late. And you look just like one. All square-like. Sometimes boxes have good things in them, like Krabby Patties. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Here's some candy. Thank you. Balloons? Don't you know people have phobias? That's all the candy we need. Now we can give it all away to Mrs. Puff. Do what do we do? We have to. Candy, candy, candy! Again, did you bring the participation fee candy? With nuts! Fancy. Now keep still. This is going to hurt. Wait, what? It's a snail race. You have to be a snail and fast. Go! survived. Uh, I mean, you won the race. <laughs> Congratulations. Now go bother the other kids.
is a shiny candy over there! I wonder what it tastes like. Oh, that's a Strawberries, my favorite! Oh, who said that? How do you know my name? It's me, Patrick. I thought I was Patrick. No, I'm SpongeBob, you're Patrick. to make sure. SpongeBob, it's too dark here! Do something! These cables are glowing! Maybe they feel pretty. Sandy! 
I mean, <clears throat> Sandy. The name's Candy, with a C as hard as the toffee in Grandma's candy dish. Thank you for bringing the power back. We're looking for my pet snail, Gary. He got lost, probably kidnapped by a monster. Uh, have you seen him? Haven't seen your pet around, I'm afraid. But that monster, they say its lair is in the museum. It's dangerous, but it might be your best chance of finding your little critter. Sounds reasonable. We should ask this monster if it's seen Gary. Patrick, I don't think monsters can talk. You know what? My little monster theater has been reset. You mind giving me a hand with putting it back in order? If you do, I'll open the way to the museum for you, so you can go look for that monster and your friend. I don't like it, but if there's a chance Gary is with this monster, we have no other choice. Oh, poor Gary. Let's get this theater fixed. I 
bus drivers ever got their learner's permits.
I know it's a very challenging situation, but could you stop yammering? I'm trying to concentrate! Uh, that was sheer luck. <clears throat> uh, speaking of which, good news! I found that squiddy neighbor of yours. Just uh, give me more jelly and your new cosmic costume will get you to him. <laughs> Stay here and nap under my rock. Oh, sorry, Patrick. Balloons and heavy rocks don't go well together. Besides, we have to save Squidward. Fine. But Squidward owes me a nap when we find him. Ah, I look like I'm from the Stone Age. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like some idiot who lives under a rock. Someone's controlling me. Whoa. Mm -hmm. 